We discovered the issue when Natalie was two years and four months old. She was a vibrant child and we never suspected any health issues. We went to a doctor's checkup like any other when we found out that she had hearing issues. Three years after the birth of her first child, Natalie, Susanna Sahagyan discovered that her daughter had difficulty hearing. Now 10 years old, Natalie courageously embraces life's challenges, participating in various activities despite her condition. But living with a hearing impairment poses unique challenges in Armenia. The challenge is when she's out in public. When she's with family, she's loved dearly by all. We do our best to make things easier for her. But when she's out in unfamiliar social settings, interacting with strangers, people don't know how to react. I remember when Natalie used to call everyone and everything Mama. When she finally said Papa, her father was so excited, it was an emotional moment. Natalie attends a specialized educational center in Yerevan for children with hearing impairments. This educational complex follows the curriculum of a typical public school, but employs a bilingual approach to teaching. It also offers different extracurricular group activities for personal growth. This boarding school accommodates students from different parts of Armenia who come here to learn. Even the term special school itself is already stressful. Our society is not used to accepting people who are a little different, and this perspective often influences parents' views, leading them to avoid such schools altogether. But these institutions can effectively help nurture a child's true potential. The school has 112 enrolled students. Here, children learn to read and write, as well as speak in sign language. Our educational complex is probably the only one in the country using a unique bilingual approach for hearing impaired children. We use both sign language and oral speech, and that's really the key to our success. Sometimes, students turn to this school after facing challenges in public school. In Armenia, inclusive education has been in place for quite some time but hearing impaired children may struggle to fully engage in classes where lessons are completely verbal. When entering university, the problems that hearing impaired students face tend to increase. Many prefer to go into art-related fields due to fewer communication barriers. If a student decides to study in the State University's Philology Department, they will face many obstacles, as professors do not know sign language and there is no access to sign language interpreters. David, Maria, Tanya and George, former classmates from the educational complex, are now studying together at the State Institute of Theatre and Cinema in the pantomime department. Though they faced challenges at first, they were able to adapt to university life and build an understanding with their professors. My name is David Amir Shatyan. Since childhood, I've dreamt of becoming a firefighter, but after understanding that dream would be difficult, I shifted my focus. I enrolled in the pantomime department at the Theatre Institute. I'm in my second year now, and I'm enjoying my time at the Institute. My name is Maria Borosian. I've always wanted to be a doctor, but as I grew older, I realized that the medical field lacked programs for the deaf. Knowing the importance of higher education and recognizing my natural talent in acting, I decided to become an actress instead. 
When I was accepted to freshman year, I was so scared. I had so many mixed thoughts. I wanted to drop out, but I persevered and slowly realized things were getting easier. Everything began to feel normal and university became a place of freedom for me. The School for Hearing Impaired Children creates a world where they can be understood outside of their home life. However, the real difficulties arise when they move on to university where there are no sign language interpreters often hindering them from applying what they have learned in their schools to the outside world. After graduating, many of our students apply to universities. Sadly, these institutions don't have sign language interpreters. With proper interpretation, students could fully participate in classes, ask questions, and feel integrated into Armenian society, just like their peers who hear well. We don't have an institution that will train competent sign language professionals. Teaching sign language is different from interpreting it. Our government has a big problem in that regard. Outside of the structured environment of the school, whether at university or in the workplace, Individuals with hearing impairments want to fully participate in society. For many, finding employment is a struggle. While there are success stories, the majority face issues in finding jobs and achieving full integration. Outside of the structured environment of the school, whether at university or in the workplace, individuals with hearing impairments want to fully participate in society. For many, finding employment is a struggle. While there are success stories, the majority face issues in finding jobs and achieving full integration. According to the Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs, there are 3,187 people with hearing impairments in Armenia. The ministry added that there is no data available on how many of them are currently employed, as such statistics are not maintained. The Ministry of Education and Culture reported that there are 331 students with hearing impairments enrolled in 173 general education institutions, although specific statistics about such students are also not recorded. <laughs>